Hey everybody. Well, as you can see, I have kind of gone down Oh, excuse me. Kind of gone down a little bit of a different path than my uh than my usual um as far as RC modeling goes. Um it's not a warbird. <laughs> and it's not a classic scale airplane. What I have here is a 74 inch, so 30 cc, Raven. Uh, a lot of people confuse it with an extra. Some have called it a Studocker, but no, it's a Raven. The full scale aircraft was designed and built by Wayne Hanley, and it was a composite airplane, which made it very unique and very different from the extra. The extra still used a lot of uh, wood and aluminum, where the Raven is a composite airplane. And my dad built one of these back in, oh, 1997. It was a 60 size from a Global Hobbies kit. And that kit was a, <laughs> that was not a good airplane. <laughs> not, not a very good airplane at all. It took a lot of work to make it a good airplane. So the Raven has always kind of had a special spot in my heart. Um, especially in the traditional Wayne Hanley color scheme, which has, of course, the the big Raven design on top of the airplane. Very iconic. And the reasoning for this airplane is... Uh, most of my viewers, since I started the whole YouTube thing, um, I'm known for Warbirds and Classics type aircraft, because those are the events that I cover... That's mainly the style of flying that I do now. But for many years, I my staple in the hobby was aerobatics. Um, I did a lot of aerobatic flying. Um, and still I maintain flying 35% uh, card and extra on occasion. And this plane sat for quite some time. And this year I pulled it out of storage, cleaned all the dust off of it, put a handful of flights on it, and that just... That was fantastic. But the downside is, it's a 35% extra. I can't just throw it in the back of my truck and go fly. It's got to be in the trailer and, you know, it takes a little bit more effort. So I wanted something that I could put in the back of the truck. Or I actually could break down small enough and go in the back of my car. But it's still a larger size airplane. It's still gas. And uh, I had told several people in the local flying club that I was getting another 30cc size uh, aerobatic airplane, but I didn't want to disclose what it was until I got it. Now this is the Skyline models, which from what I'm told, and I'm going to have to agree, this is the old EG models. <clears throat> I think EG models was distributed through... Was it Chief Aircraft? Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. I think they were distributed through Chief Aircraft. And they just disappeared. And all of a sudden, these Skyline models came out. And it's really a good... It's good construction. I was keeping this whole thing hush-hush until I got it. Because I wanted to look it over real good. And, uh... Check the quality. And, you know, typical ARF. You know... Not nothing too exotic in there. There's no carbon fiber, um, but the uh, the wings recess into the fuselage, which is kind of neat. And inside of here, typically you'd have a really thin balsa that breaks easy. This is all fiberglass, so that's kind of cool. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, solid fiberglass cowl with a ring on the inside, so all your screws are hidden. Pretty good. Uh, paint finish on the cowl is really good. The canopy, I think I'm going to have to do some some reinforcing because it's not the most durable, but not bad. <coughs> uh, other than that, the, the covering seems good. Uh, really nice color scheme. It was done very well. And I know somebody is going to notice... There's a yellow piece of trim missing right here. 
I could blame that on the manufacturer, but I am 80% sure that when I was taking the plastic wrap off of these wings, I think that one piece stuck to the plastic wrap and I peeled it off, and I already threw it away. So, that is no big deal at all. I mean, that's just yellow covering. Oh look, yellow covering. I'll just make another one. No big deal. Sadly, there's a lot of... I wouldn't say builders anymore, but flyers that <clears throat> if they got this airplane and this was missing, they would go through great lengths of returning this wing or returning the whole airplane just because that's missing. They wouldn't know how to how to put a new piece of covering on there. And that's kind of sad. Very sad. But I've got a lot of nice airplanes that way. From uh, flyers that are not builders by any means, they damage an airplane, and it's basically junk. They're they're ready to throw it away, and I go, ooh ooh, give it to me, I'll take it. You know, hey, works for me. One's loss is my gain. So yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys this real quick. Um, I'm gonna put a DLE 30 in it, uh, older engine but well broke in, runs good. Just basic servos, nothing too extreme. And I might do a couple more videos on this airplane. Um, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Ugh, I don't know why, but I'm all clogged up. You know, because it's a Nerf, so there's not a whole lot to it. Um, what I do like about this airplane is it does not come with an instruction manual. I mean, I don't need an instruction manual. I mean, look, let's look through my shop here. How many, I mean, just in this small portion of my storage area, how many ARFs do you see? None. <laughs> All kit built or scratch built. So, yeah, I don't need instructions. And after doing research, that was actually one of the biggest complaints for this airplane is the fact that it does not come with instructions. And honestly, if you're going to be flying an airplane like this, you should already have pretty good basic knowledge on how to set up an airplane, where things should go. Um, kind of a basic rule of thumb for a plane like this, your CG is going to be right on your wing tube. That's pretty standard. Or at least if you balance it on your wing tube, that'll at least get you in the ballpark. I'm so freaking clogged up. Holy mackerel. Um, another thing, I wanted to thank all my subscribers and viewers because I am over 1,000 subscribers. Now, you look at a lot of YouTube channels. I mean, I'm on YouTube a lot because uh, not only am I doing YouTube stuff, but I also support a lot of other channels. So I do a lot of watching on YouTube. You know, not a lot of other guys and gals have, uh, you know, tens, hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers, and I have, I think, 1,028. But, you know what? That's awesome. That's actually been not really a goal. It's just been something I've been kind of hoping for, because I don't make money for this. I don't treat this as a job. Um, I just do it. And the fact that there's over a thousand people that want to be notified every time I put up a video, that's kind of cool. So, thanks everybody. I sure appreciate it. I'll try to keep stuff coming. Um, I'll see right now it is Sunday the... What is it? The 26th? Yeah. So, let's see. Wednesday the 28th. At night I will be... Uh, heading down to the Indiana Warbird campaign for a nice uh, long weekend of RC fun. Uh, big war It's a big Warbirds and Classics event at AMA headquarters, and I do the event coverage every year. Hope to see a lot of you guys there. If not, you'll be able to pretend you're there by watching my video once I upload it. <laughs> All right, I got some weird... I don't know. I'm all clogged up. I gotta go try to figure something out about that. Alright. See y'all later.